Well, recently, a number of celebrities like Taylor Swift, Justin Bieber, and even Hugh Jackman have had to deal with stalker issues, but they're fortunate enough to have 24-hour security teams. However, regular people like us don't have that luxury, so what can we do? Yeah, well, just in case you need to protect yourselves, the head instructor of the International Krav Maga, Shahi Shamesh, is here to teach us some self-defense moves, right? Right. <laughs> okay, this is very important because a lot of people may need to use these type mm -hmm. of moves. Now, Shahi, what exactly is Krav Maga? I keep hearing about it. All the celebrities are doing mm -hmm. it. What is it? So Krav Maga, it's, a, it's not a martial art. It's a self-defense built on natural movements, natural okay. instincts, therefore everyone Everyone can do it, um, and everyone will do it in the moment of truth. So we use the natural instinct and just modify it in something that works a little better. Okay. And is it true that this came from a practice in the Israeli army and you learned it at the age of eight? Yes, I started when I was eight. Well, why did you start so young? I started because of two reasons. A, I was bullied, and oh. I didn't know how to respond correctly to um, the kids that were not that nice to me. Gosh. And my parents always taught me that I should not fight. Hmm. Um, so Krav Maga taught me the boundaries between defending myself and not to fight. Mm. Nice. Okay. So why do you think it's become popular in recent years? I know Jennifer Lopez talks about Krav Maga all the time. Because it's effective and it's easy to learn. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if it's so easy to learn, are you going to teach us today? Sure. Okay. okay. Well, first you brought Don here, who mm -hmm. you guys are going to do a few demonstrations, mm -hmm. right? Okay, so we'll step out the way. We'll let you guys do your work, and then you'll teach us how to do the same I'll thing. Come so, over there. Yeah, with we're you, safe. <laughs> so we're Shannon show will you protect a, me. Right? <laughs> we're going to show you a few different techniques. Uh, the first technique is a choke with a little push. Usually, can can happen in a domestic violence and as well as uh, more aggressive fights. So when someone is choking and really pushing. <laughs> Wow. Wow. If Wait, first, so show that? Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to do it, it slow down. now. Okay. And the first instinct, even though that I'm getting choked, and my first instinct is trying to release the choke and try to get my air back, since I'm pushing, is actually balancing my body backwards. Okay, okay. step back. Secondly, now I need to take care of the choke, because if I'm not going, do, going to do so, I'm going to faint eventually. Gotcha. Okay. So, going back, peeling out the choke, and fighting back. Oh. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. I yeah. like that. And we hit only vulnerable spots. If we want to finish the fight, we have to do it fast. If I okay. hit big muscles, eventually it, it doesn't count. Okay. So if she hits the nose, if she hits the eyes, if she hits the jaw, she gets better results. It doesn't matter what's my size, I have the same vulnerable spots like a five years old. Okay, so if someone's choking you, after you break the choke, then aim for the eyes or the nose. Vulnerable spots in general, Okay, yes. got you. Yes. What about uh, the crotch? I know a lot of times they say This is kick. great, depends of the distance, depends <laughs> of your needs. Uh -huh. So Krav Maga, it's not only about responding very forcefully, it's okay. using your knowledge according to your needs. Gotcha. gotcha. Okay. Right. What else do you have for us? What so, else? let's say that Dawn was a little bit more aware. She saw it in advance. Mm -hmm. She saw him about to choke her. Just deflect. Okay. You don't have to be choked. Gotcha. That's right. a good one. So like as that. soon as I'm coming, she can just deflect. And if she chooses to be a little bit more uh, physical, one, and <laughs> punch back. <laughs> wow, she's good at that punch back thing. She is great. <laughs> Okay. okay. With a little bit more distance, mm -hmm. uh -huh. she could also use a longer limb and boop, <laughs> kick the groin. Gotcha. Kick the groin. So yeah. That's the one I teach my girls. Go for the exactly. groin. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> everyone got a groin. Like I always say, it doesn't matter what your size, if you hit the center, everyone goes down in the same height. Uh -huh. <laughs> now, what if someone has a weapon, though? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what do you do if someone has a weapon and they try to come after you? Because then that's a whole nother situation. Correct. It could be really serious. So, I will be using... A knife. Uh -oh. And that's so, not a real knife. That's not a real okay, knife. Okay, let's just make that clear <laughs> okay. to the audience. That's yeah, not, not a real not knife. Real knife. Okay. But if okay. it happened to be a real knife, what Correct. we always assume that every attack, every circular or straight attack will be an armed attack. Because okay. the knife to, the, together uh, nowadays the attacks are the attackers usually hide their knives much better than before. Gotcha. 400 years ago, used, people used to carry swords. Today, very small knives. Okay. Got you. Okay, so you're not necessarily going to see the knives, especially if it's a surprise. Your instinct will be always protecting your face, and instead of being very protective, well, you, you want to be aggressive. Okay, so show so us being defend aggressive. Defend and fight <laughs> back. Really. Got you. So in Krav Maga, we always defend and attack on the same time. Okay. It doesn't matter where it's coming from, if it's from above the head mm -hmm. or from below, that can be a stab to the stomach. Stab to the stomach, boom, <laughs> boom, boom. The, so and you block and fight back at the same time. Same time. Why, defend why, and why should I give them a second chance? 
Gotcha. gotcha. That's the whole point. Okay. okay. Well, we're going to also demonstrate the other side. Boom, <laughs> boom, boom. Even though most people are using their right arm, at least 90% of the people are righties, we always train both sides, just in case. Okay. Yeah. Got just it. in case you have a stalker who has a lefty. <laughs> right. Okay. You never know. You never know. You never know. We also have straight attacks that can be a punch or a straight stab. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. We always treat it as if it's armed. Deflect, <laughs> punch back. Now, I, I know that she's punching back with her hands open. Yes. Why not the fist? So there are a couple of reasons for that. Um, the first thing that I highly recommend that women will hit with an open palm, because if you don't know how to punch right, mm -hmm. you're going to hurt your wrist. Okay. And even if you do know, when you punch someone in the scalp or the body, mm -hmm. it hurts you also. Okay, so can you show us some of these moves and how we can use them in everyday life? Sure. Because we no, be... they've got the gun. I'm gonna demonstrate the gun, right? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Oh, okay. you're gonna yeah. demonstrate yeah. the gun. Yeah. Oh. I get to shoot him. Shannon, so be this careful. Is <laughs> no, don't hurt me, guys. This is something that is actually re very relevant for the news because what happened in Long Island a couple of days ago that someone was holding a woman with a headlock and. <gasps> Oh, sorry. Face, forgot, which is not <laughs> That's my reaction. And now, is that normal? <laughs> normal reaction. Definitely normal okay. reaction. Okay. People freak out when a gun, a gun pointed to the head. Uh huh. When I, when and someone again, is doing that to me. That's not a real gun. Again. That's not a real okay. gun. Again, okay. you can bite it. Okay. When someone is doing that to me with the headlock. Okay. So I got you in the headlock, and then I'm coming at you with the gun. Yes. Hold it against my face. Okay. So the first thing I need to, to make sure that I'm controlling the barrel, not just the hand, because if I just control the hand, it can still shoot. Yeah, this yeah. is. So I want to make sure that the gun points elsewhere. So one, Ow! boom, elsewhere. Boom, boom. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay. And yeah, that would work actually. You. <laughs> no, but okay, let wait, me ask no, you this. Wait, listen, you mm. can do that. Yeah. Right. But if someone is really holding a gun to your head, the chances of you doing that are slim to none, mm. right? This, this is, is a very safe. advanced people technique. Usually okay. People usually panic. Correct, mm -hmm. and it's very normal to panic. Mm -hmm. We're not looking for a quick response. If I wanted him dead when I hold the gun like that, he would be dead already, okay? That means that I need something from him. Okay. He has the time. He has the time. So, okay. But is it safe for someone to try to take a loaded gun, no. a real gun, it's from never someone safe. else? It's never safe. When, if I have to do it, I fight for mm -hmm. my life. It's a okay. different thing. Yes. It's either that or not fight at all. Okay, so if I'm aiming at you with the gun, is this different as well? Yes, it will be different. It really depends how, where you're pointing that, if it's here or there, because I always want to cover as least body as I can. So if gotcha. it's here, I will go to this side. If it's here, I will go to this to side. To get the gun away from being pointed yes. at you. I don't want it to cover the whole body. I want to cover as least as I can. And again, please Wait, do not so try show, this at home. Show that again, <laughs> right? Shannon. I want to see that. Okay. okay so you're Very holding safely and slowly. <laughs> okay. So one. Push it away. Two. Okay. From here, I can use it one, two, and hold the gun against wow. him. But again, this is not something people should try. This is a very this elaborate a, a, a type advanced. of technique that you do because you're advanced, you're trained in this. Now, what is something everyday people like Lola could do to protect herself if she was walking along in the park and someone tried to attack her? What's something you could teach her? Do that. Yeah, sure. We can do that technique uh, with that. The hair grab? Yeah, the hair grab. Okay, the hair grab. Well, well you can't grab Lola's hair, though. You know, a lot of time goes into that. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, okay. Where, no hair grab. I just no got hair. my hair done. <laughs> <I know. laughs> okay. She really will be fighting up in here. Like, ah! No, you didn't mess up my hair. <laughs> okay, no one. Now, <laughs> then the gloves are off. Then the gloves are really come off. See, then you will fight for your life. Exactly. <laughs> so, so we can do exactly team. the same technique that Don was performing before when okay. someone is, God forbid, choking you okay. and, and even pushing you so you lose your balance. Okay. Um, there is a very, very Don't simple way me. to do it. We're okay. going to do it step by step. Okay. First, I know you're, you're on heels, so be careful. When I, when, even when I'm choking you, first, when I'm pushing you, oh. the first thing that you want to do is stop that. Okay. When, you, when you go back like this, I can push, I can push you forever. Uh -huh. So you want to make sure that you stop it. At a pivot. Okay, so you keep it 90 degrees. Okay, so stop like yes, this. Okay, correct. so I'm in a pivot stance. So let's go back to the beginning. Okay. So one, and you oh. stop it. Okay. That's it. On the same time that you go back, I wanted to bring your uh, left arm up uh -huh. this way, all the way up to the ear. Ow. So you want to lo lock my arm here. Ow. I worked out this morning, sorry. <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> Again, so let's go back. Okay. We're gonna do the same okay, thing. Okay, but don't, not so hard. Cause my, okay, okay. One, and Stop. hand up. Hand up, hand up. okay. Up. And back. The next thing that we're gonna do, so we're gonna do one and elbow down all the way to your rib. Okay. Okay, that will peel, peel the choke off uh, from your okay. Knock his hands away. Okay, so, so one, one, hand up. Uh, uh, so, uh, so we have to come choking. with a <laughs> little bit of throat. That's oh, it. Okay. And from here, oh, okay. since I'm not choking anymore, you can also hit back. Uh, 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 
Yeah. Better to hit she with the closer. She got that part down. I got that. Okay. <laughs> so it's very instinctive of that going. That was very okay. scary. You want to do one last time? Right. No, no, no. Okay. Well, thank you. <laughs> but as Lola mentioned, it's very mm -hmm. scary. So can someone really have these type of reactions? And what tips can you give to people to not just freak out and freeze up? Because most people would just freeze. So that's what we call muscle memory. Mm -hmm. Muscle memory. So okay. we train it over and over and over again. It kicks in in the moment of truth. Yes, wow. the yes. moment of truth. Now, okay. there was a moment earlier when you jumped on him and were like choking him. Can you show us that one? Okay. okay let me stand yeah, back. Choke on the ground? <laughs> the ground? Yes. yes. So, in this situation, that even a more violent situation, mm -hmm. that someone is there determined to go all the way down and choke her with all the body weight downwards, that means that they really want her passed yeah. out or yeah. even worse. Um, her option, it doesn't matter what her size, is just to pull me off. One. <laughs> Whoa. That was fast. <laughs> so how did you even have the strength to flip him over? You're a small I, woman, Dawn. How much do you weigh? A little over 100 pounds. And you? <laughs> About 170. Wow. But we've done it on much bigger guys. It, if you do it correctly, you can. So what's the key to getting them off of Creating you? Creating momentum, using your feet and your uh, quadriceps to create momentum, create leverage. So can you show us that one more time in slow motion from sure. your perspective, without you on her, to see how you pushed yep. him off? Yes. What did okay, you, do so you push off of your right leg? Or? So the first thing you do is you lock your feet, okay. and that's gonna give me more leverage in my hips. Gotcha. And I'm locking the hand. Mm -hmm. And then I'm capturing the head, the guy, he's down, head, and then at the same time I go up, it's and okay. then ha, ha, ha! So. And then you flip their leg, and then a kick. Because, okay. why not? Because you can. Because why not? <laughs> Get them while they're or down. Or stomp and in heels. It, <clears throat> yeah. And isn't it a big key to keep fighting back until they're off of you, till the, the threat is over? Use your knowledge according to your needs, means mm -hmm. until you're safe. Okay. So one last question, because we're almost out of time. What can we do to make sure that we stay safe, that we don't even get into these situations to so, become, you know, a target? So the first thing that you need to do is keep your eyes up. People okay. walk with their eyes down, okay. and they look in their. They're usually their texting. Feet. That's why. Yes. <laughs> eyes up, if, especially if you are in an unfamiliar mm -hmm. environment. Make sure that you can see your surrounding. Make sure that you know where you're going. Make sure mm -hmm. that you're not surprised. Um, especially at night, don't wear headphones. Okay. And I know that there is a common thing that people think that they, if they hold the keys between their fingers, it will mm -hmm. help them. Yeah. Right. But let's say that you did, okay. and I hold your arm, then what are you gonna do? Oh, that's true. So yeah, can't get you. We, can't, we can't rely on keys or any mm -hmm. other in instrument like to protect ourselves. Like mace and tasers, because th those can be used on you instead. This right? is great. Okay. If you have the time to use it, that gotcha. means that you are aware. Okay. But if you are surprised, you don't have time to do it. So be aware, pay attention to your surroundings. Yes. And, and learn to defense, how fight to use back. Your okay. And don't punch. It. Use this part of your hand. Uh, <laughs> punching <laughs> is a great option, okay. but okay. definitely this is safer. Okay. Right. But and most well, importantly, I feel learn safer these tips. already. Thank you so <laughs> yes. much for being here. Thank you you so work much. fantastic. Krav Maga, yes. I'm doing it. Give your gun back. 250 you West. Uh, 250 West 100th Street. West 150 West 100th Street in Manhattan. Okay. All right. Thank you guys very Thank much for that. Thank you. All right. You're watching Arise Entertainment 360. Stay safe.